Hi guys, who doesn't like to travel? And if that travel is for work, well then it makes the entire thing all the more exciting. But it comes with its own challenges and in this video, I'll tell you about my challenges when I moved out of my country to work abroad and how you can handle it as well. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, like I've already shared with you before, I will be talking about how to go about moving abroad and going for a job abroad. I have got my script right here, so I've written down my points and we'll cover through all of them one by one. I hope you're as excited as I am about this one because moving out of my country was a big thing for me. So um, I have moved from India to Dubai, but I also applied to Singapore. So Singapore was a geography that I've really explored a lot and I also have a PR for Canada. So I have explored the Canadian market as well as I've interviewed for a few organizations in London as well. So I wouldn't say I know a lot, but I do have my own fair share of trying to figure out how to move abroad. And in this video, I'm going to talk about that. But before I do, guys, do like and subscribe to the channel if you like the content. And um, I mean, there is absolutely no push for it. But if you do like the content, do hit the bell icon and the subscribe button. So coming back to the content for today, um, how do I go about moving abroad? So the first point here in my script is how about how do you go about finding jobs? Now this is I think the most important one. Uh, when I started looking out, I was I was everywhere because I did not know which country that I wanted to go to, how do I go about applying there, what are the organizations that I need to apply to and so on and so forth. So you know, chill, first thing first, just chill and um, first circle in on a few geographies that you would like to move on to. I mean, you know, the world is your oyster but you have to stick to a few places. For me, what was important back then was uh, probably proximity to India, my home country. Um, and also what kind of you know salary and job opportunities were available at a place and of course whoever was okay to take me. To be honest I was applying during the covid um, times and not everyone was hiring so I was also bogged down by, by that. So for example I had uh, applied for Canada PR and I did, uh, I was in the lines of it, I didn't have it yet but I was still in the queue and you know I was almost there. But since Canada was not open and that was not an option for me, I knew I couldn't go there. So, you know, you circle down to a few geographies by whatever logic you can come up to. Uh, once you've done that, then in, within the finding uh, job aspect, first try to figure out, you know, within your domain, uh, since you're already shifting geographies, do not, do not, do not even think about shifting a job role. That's highly complex. That's not going to happen. I mean, you can only do one switch at a time, switching geography or switching careers or switching the profile. You can't do both of them together. So if you're shifting, try to find out what organizations, uh, what are the best places to work within your domain. So since I was a product manager, I was looking for organizations which were in internet, tech companies, how are they doing? So I started looking out for organizations like that. Now, uh, you could look out on LinkedIn or you could look out on platforms like Nokri, etc. But honestly, I have, like I said, I've applied to multiple um, uh, organizations, not just in Dubai, but in Singapore and London as well. And I've given a few interviews. To be honest, nothing works as good as LinkedIn does, period. Um, because LinkedIn has real people, real job offerings, you have a network through which you can get referrals and everything. So LinkedIn just works like, I mean, all the jobs that I've gotten so far in India as well, most of them were through LinkedIn. So there, LinkedIn works best. Um, so you get get through LinkedIn, you also try to see within your network if there's somebody who's working in a similar uh, domain like you and that's how you go finding a job. Now within finding a job, there's, a, there's one last myth that I'd like to bust. A lot of people talk about, you know, should I just go there and try to search for a job? So for example, in Dubai specifically, it's a well-known norm that you can come here and then apply and then, uh, you know, find a job. So you can come and travel, tourist visa and so on. See, this happens a lot in a country like Canada where you come in with a PR and uh, of course, especially for folks who are going from India to Canada, it's a long way off, a different market completely. So that happens a lot, a lot of people do it. Um, but I have two words of advice. One, if you can get a job before moving there, you are just better off. You know, you don't have that entire um, anxiety that comes along with looking for a job when you move to a new place. Um, the second thing is that not every job would be hiring like that. So for example, uh, especially in the case of Dubai, those who are going for entry level job, maybe, you know, around five, six, seven, eight thousand dirhams. Yes, uh, they would be able to get jobs if you come here directly. But if you're looking for any job above that, uh, pay scale, coming here and looking for a job, I've actually never seen that work for anyone. And I have 
um, actually seen a few seen a few cases where people have moved to Dubai on a tourist visa and tried to you know find a job. Uh, they were able to find jobs, but only in the five to eight k range. Which, if it works for you, great, do come. But if it doesn't, then there's no point coming here, spending your money on the flight and the visa and everything. It just wouldn't work. All the jobs that are beyond this uh, salary range would uh, ideally just you know hire the usual LinkedIn route, and they wouldn't need you to come beforehand. There's no walk-ins per se that are happening. So that's about finding a job. Um, let's go to question number two that I want to answer. So the next one is, how do I make sure that the salary that I'm getting in this offer is good for me? Uh, the first thing is, of course, you have to identify the international standards for your job role. So Glassdoor and even Google Bard is a great way to identify what are the norms for that role. So you'll uh, definitely find something. Um, otherwise, a lot of JDs also mention, you know, what is the average salary that they might be giving in. So you can get some idea about it. Otherwise, again, your network is the best way. So if you don't have someone in your network directly, reach out. You know, increase your network. Reach out to people working um, in these areas. So, for example, a lot of people reach out to me, asking me what is a product manager's salary in Dubai because I'm making videos about Dubai. So you know, you can do that. Reach out. Try to reach out to people and ask what is the salary range that I can expect. You'll be surprised by the number of people who actually reply back. I mean, why not? Right. So after the salary comes the next one, which is living cost. This one's a bit of a hit and miss. You might, you know, miss out a couple of headers, and then you will probably choose the wrong kind of job or salary. Uh, so it's very important that you figure out the cost heads. Now, honestly, we went to Reddit. Reddit gives you all the headers that you need for sure. Um, but that's also because we did not have a lot of people in our network who were already in Dubai. But otherwise, if anyone who asks me after a while, I mean, I have a Excel. I'll also link it down below um, about the headers that you have to consider if you're moving out. Uh, but the most important header of them all is rentals. So rentals across the world are, you know, one of the highest uh, expenses from your salary. So you should consider what the rentals are. For these, you can look at any of the websites uh, for rentals. Like for example, Dubai has Property Finder. Uh, similarly, there'll be other websites in other countries that you can look out for. So to check the rentals for a one, two, three studio, whatever you're looking for. Um, apart from rentals, then the biggest cost then comes in the terms of utilities. Especially here in Dubai, internet is very expensive. Uh, so you, your taxi costs are very expensive. So you figure out your utilities as a whole and see what's the cost for that. Um, and then finally, you'll have um, things like living costs. If you know if to spend, go out for a movie, how much would you spend? Or if you're going out to eat, how much would you spend? And so on. Uh, those are the basic headers. But again, like I said, I've linked to an Excel sheet where we did all of our maths to figure out what's the amount of money that we will spend. Now, finally, you've gotten that cool job. Uh, the job is in your domain. The salary seems okay to you. But how do I decide if this is still a good opportunity? I would like to advise to anyone who's thinking of moving outside, guys, consider the opportunity cost. You have a job, you have a network in your own home country. Um, if you move outside, you wouldn't have any of that. So should you move out uh, depends on the opportunity cost that you're leaving behind. If you don't move out and you stay within your organization, within your home country, how much money could you make, you know, in the next five, 10 years? Uh, that's a very important thing to consider. The other thing to consider is that you're not going for that one job. You're going for a career. So do think about the growth prospects in that home country or in the country that you're moving on to. Uh, does it have enough opportunities for you to grow? Or from that experience that you're getting there, will you be able to get more opportunities elsewhere that you're okay going to? These two are the most important ones. The third one which I really feel is important is, is your network there? Uh, so do go to a place which has enough uh, people like you so that you can build up your network. Again, going back to that case where you know studying somewhere um, gives you a lot of an edge. That's really true. So if you studied somewhere, you anyway build your own people, you build your own network. So that's okay. Uh, so that's my advice on you. If you are, you know, in jitters, still not sure if you should pick up that job offer, think of the opportunity cost. A few other things before you're picking a city uh, to move to. Uh, do think about the culture there. Do think about, you know, Indian culture. Something that I love about Dubai is that it's very close to how our Indian culture is. Um, you get all the comforts that you get in India. There are a lot of Indians here. So every taxi, that I've been on, uh, the driver has been an Indian so, or a Pakistani, so I've been able to engage with them in Hindi. Uh, that just makes me feel very comfortable. Uh, so if you know if that's something that you really like, uh, move to a country that gives you those kind of opportunities. For example, for Dubai, I just love that it's close to India. I can go back home whenever I want. Um, so that's another thing which I did not, not like so much about Canada because it was too far away from home. The other thing is the weather. Uh, again, I'm a I'm a beach person. I like the heat, but I can't survive in the cold. Again. 
a minus point for Canada back then. But yeah, again, the weather is an important thing as well before you choose because um, I mean, it was for me. I can't survive in cold weather. I just hate it. Uh, so do, do look out for those things as well. Um, but yes, so concluding this video, there are a couple of things that you need to think about. Number one, uh, where to get your job. Um, go through a network, go to LinkedIn. LinkedIn works really well. But before all of that, figure out which country do you want to go to. Uh, once you've done that, you've got your job. Um, at least you figure out where you want to apply to. Then apply, apply, apply through LinkedIn. Get your network to refer you as well. And figure out what salary you should be getting. Figure out uh, your opportunity cost that you're missing in case you take this op uh, this job in the salary as well. And finally, do pick up a country which is close to you in terms of the culture that you want, in terms of the lifestyle that you want, um, kind of the weather you want, food you want, and then move because you you know you're literally moving moving you your entire family with you right uh, so it has to be somewhere that you can call home so i guess with that i close on my video i hope this was useful for you if it was do give it a like and do subscribe to the channel for more such content and i'll see you next time Ta -da!